There's the big zipper. And Orion's girdle. Lucky for you dudes, I'm here to help you with your project. Yeah, <laughs> real lucky. Lorne, will you study the star chart already? Dude, I can't read it. Like, that's a surprise. Nah, it's too dark out to read. Hey, that's better. Whoa! Rock did all this damage? Entering the atmosphere at 60,000 kilometers a second? Even a small meteorite can make a huge impact. A meteorite! For a minute there, I thought it might be a spaceship. Whoa! Check out our garage! Awesome carnage! Kudos, Space Rock! <laughs> Cry, Mr. Cat. I know you'll miss me when I'm in school, but I'll be back soon to hug and cuddle you. Ooh, what's that ugly thing? It's a meteorite from outer space, Millie. Ow! Stellar fine, boys. Actually, it found us. And our garage. Ow! <laughs> 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 Very impressive. You should do some experiments to determine its density and mineral content. We're also going to calculate its angle of entry from the size and shape of the crater. This ought to be worth a few bonus points, huh, Mr. Gerber? Lorne, <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Conducting an experiment in basic smashology. What do you think you can learn from smashing it? I'll learn if I can smash it. Get it down from there! Whatever you say, Bert Nerder. <laughs> oh, it only smashed into two pieces. <laughs> this time. This is fascinating. It's hollow. How many bonus marks do I get for smashing it? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Nice smashing, Lorne. Uh, why don't you and Harley keep that half? Uh, we'll take this one. So it is a spaceship. You know what that means? Yeah. Somewhere out there, another freaky alien is stalking the streets of Bootsville. <laughs> <laughs> Dennis, I'm talking laser beams, disruptor rays, sonic blasters. A cup holder! Eh, maybe it's just a travel pod. It still proves the cat isn't working solo anymore. If we initiate a wide grid search, we could track the new alien down. Found him. <laughs> <laughs> They do seem to have issues. Wow. Mr. Cat, you found a new friend to play with. Oh, aren't you the sweetest itty bitty little kitty? Oh, 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 oh,
Kitten doesn't know his own. It looks operational, but we're one lid short of a full pod. The kid is up to something. You get the pod top from Lorne and Harley, and I'll check out the house. Dad, really? What happened? We've been playing with Mr. Kitten. Ugh. I think the little guy is more of an outdoor cat. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> awesome smashing, bro! I have not yet begun to smash! <laughs> I've never met anything I couldn't smash before. Don't stop believing, Lorne. I've been saving this as a surprise for your birthday. Awesome! <laughs> Whoa! Where'd it go? Guys, I need the other half of the meteorite for a, a astronomy class. Can't have it, dude. I uh lost it. You lost it? Where? But we're gonna find it any second. In a million pieces. Okay, here's the deal. I save your hairless butt, we rescue Dad and Millie, you help us get rid of Little Cat, then we go back to being mortal enemies. Got it? <laughs> hey, Dad! Tuna casserole! Hey, Coop, can you lend us a hand to get out of this tangle? Be there in a second. Daddy, Coop is teasing Mr. Cat and Mr. Kitten. It does sound like you're playing a little rough, sport. Coop, we've got a problem. Problem solved. <laughs> I'll keep him busy. You help Dennis with the pot. I was just about to try that. Coop, we're ready to launch. Shooting 
store. Awesome. Make a wish, dude. I wish I had a pet anaconda. I wish I had a lifetime supply of nachos and spray cheese. I wish all the people of the world would come together as one. Huh? And smash stuff! <laughs> Dare to dream. <laughs> This weekend, Robot huh? Demolition Derby Destruction is huh? coming to Bootsville. <laughs> Big Daddy Russo's legendary Megatorx will take on all comers. Anyone can enter. Who will be the last box standing? If you build it, they will crush you. Dennis, we gotta get into that. Why, cat boy? Don't you get enough humiliation just being you? <laughs> yeah. Any robot you dweebs build will be a shrine to lameness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah? Our robot will crush anything you guys make. You'll learn the meaning of carnage. Dude, carnage is my middle name. Mine's Doomsday. Hmm, so it is. Mine's Lawrence. Meow, 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 meow. battering room? Where are we going to get all these things? No problem. The shed's full of spare parts we can use. Whoa! Cat jackpot! Hey, maybe we could use cat stuff to make our robot. <laughs> Not unless we can find a user's manual. Yeah, this stuff's way too dangerous. But if we can't use them, neither can cat. I'm kind of selfish that way. Time to take out the trash. Huh? Wait, my swapping senses are tingling. <laughs> Sorry, swappers keepers. Ladies and gentlemen, cat. Millie, how about helping your old dad at the house of swap? <laughs> Sorry, Chuckles, we'll have to reschedule. <laughs> We've got to make room for some new old stuff. It's definitely time for... Swapapalooza! Come to Swapapalooza. We're making monster deals. Congratulations, you made a great swap. Deal. This automatic lawn trimming device is very intriguing. I thought Coop would be here. We gotta find some robot parts soon or we'll be totally out of the derby. <laughs> oh, it's busted. Try this button. Whoa. Dude, I present the Blitzicon 5000! demand a full re-swap from your father. You, you swapped for this? At our store? Dad, you know all that junk Dennis's dad was throwing out? I, I gotta get it back. Junk? <laughs> Far from it, Coop. That was a swapping gold mine. Swapped where? T to who? Uh, let's see. Old Lady Munson got that funny-looking television. This isn't knitting with the stars? Oh. How do you change the channel on this? Oh. Oh. 
Huh. I can't remember who got the high-tech turkey baster. Huh? Found it. Uh, Dad sent me over to... Just get that thing out of here! <laughs> Don't worry, the salad spinner comes with a full swap back guarantee! Blitzicon <laughs> 5000 is gonna totally rule the robot demo derby! No! You can't put that thing in the derby! It's too... defective! Whatever you swap for it, I'll get it back! You're just jealous of the totalosity of our firepower! The next time you see Blitzicon will be on the field of battle, if you even have a robot, that is. <laughs> There. That ought to keep those weapons out of Cat's grubby little paws. Now let's get started on a replacement robot for the derby. <sighs> Come on, Dennis, pick it up. We don't have all day. <sighs> Who will be the last robot standing in this ultimate competition of destruction? <laughs> Big Daddy Russo's Megatorp? Or one of the challengers? Going into battle with Millie's little Betty Beep Beep? <laughs> it got us into the competition, didn't it? The first robot we're gonna annihilate is yours. <laughs> it's go time! Look at that go! Uh... I've never seen such devastation! Uh-oh! Megatorch put the tip of the box through the spin cycle! And now, the Ringer! <laughs> gotta get that thing away from them before those doofuses do any real damage! Look up behind you! Oh! <laughs> 
outstanding is Little Betty Beepy. <laughs> <laughs> well, we didn't win, but we totally blew a lot of stuff up. Well done, Doomsday. You too, Carnage. Lousy piece of junk! I demand a re-swap for Spider-Man! Knock it off, you two. What's this all about, anyway? It's... well, he... You don't even remember, do you? Nah, not really. I swear, I can't leave you two alone for a... <laughs> Second. <laughs> That's it! Day after day, it's the same routine. Maybe we need to get away from it all for a few days. I know I could sure use a change of scenery. <sighs> Or the Bonitorium Roller Coaster G4 Simulator Amusement Park and Daycare. No, none of those tourist traps for us. We're gonna enjoy the great outdoors at the Lake Winnegabagoo Wilderness Lodge. Huh? I went there when I was your age. I have such fond memories. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Magic Forest. We've been waiting for you. Add some nummy honey. There's plenty for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> or was that a cartoon I saw when I was six? The usual, Hugo. This house is putting my kid through college. <laughs> Are we there yet? 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 We're there already? No, honey, this isn't the resort. We're just dropping off Mr. Cat so he can have a nice, relaxing holiday getaway of his own. At a kennel. <gasps> a kennel? This is a family vacation. Mr. Cat is family! It won't be much of a vacation for anybody if Coop and Mr. Cat are at each other's throats the whole time. Fine, we'll leave Coop at the kennel. Let's have a look. I'm sure it's really nice. Welcome to Mabel's Menagerie, the lap of luxury for beloved pets of all kinds. Ooh, what an adorable pussycat. It really is nice. Wow. Don't worry, <laughs> young lady. Your lovable kitty is in good hands with Mabel. Now you folks run along and enjoy a worry-free vacation. Bye now. All right, show's over. That ought to hold ya. The path seems to be a bit overgrown, but... I'm pretty sure the resort is up this way. Howdy! <laughs> you folks lost? Nobody comes here who ain't lost. We're looking for the Lake Winnegabagoo Wilderness Lodge. You know it? Know it? I run it. Yeah? Wait, are you Glenn? Ranger Glenn? The Lake Winnegabagoo Wilderness Guide? I sure was. I mean, am. I used to come here every summer when I was a kid. No phones, no internet, no TV, no radio, no distractions whatsoever. You're darn tootin'. <gasps> we got ourselves a whole lot of nothing. No bathroom. Oh, we got a real modern one of those. A double-seater. Oh, dibs on the ones without thorns. <gasps> What's 
the matter? You're not happy with your big bowl of nothing? <laughs> What we got here is a failure to cooperate. Bread stale and the tuna comes from a 1950 army surplus stash, but a bit of toasting ought to fix it up proper. Just like roasting marshmallows, right, kids? No. Ooh, who's up for some campfire songs? Hey, that's my dinner! <laughs> 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 It's nice to get up close and personal with Mother Nature. Hey, say, Glenn, whatever happened to the other ranger who used to work here? I remember she really loved animals. Oh, she sure did. At least she did before the incident. Let's just say the critters around these parks can get a mite nippy. <laughs> she was never quite the same after that. To Mr. Cat? Hmm. What sort of lunatic sends a postcard to an animal? <laughs> Having a nice time in the middle of nowhere, even though there's no bathroom and all the toilet paper is made out of leaves. Daddy likes it here, and he keeps telling us we do too. So we're going to stay a few more days, and you get to enjoy your kitty spa a little while longer. Wish we were there. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Been up to me? Oh, uh, I had to use the little boy's bush. <laughs> uh, well, uh, since we're up, why don't we do a little stargazing? No, wait! Don't go out there! Coop! <laughs> 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 You've got a lot to learn about getting away from it all. Oh, I'm really sorry about this, Glenn. Well, truth be told, I was planning on renovating the old place. It's the raccoon's fault. It keeps stealing all our food. <laughs> it's an evil menace. It has to be stopped. Oh, this all sounds a little too familiar. Oh, get out of my rucksack, you nasty, evil little furballs. Oh, take my granola bars. <laughs> 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 you! You beasts! Back in your cages, all of you! Back, I say! 
Looks like at least one of us had a relaxing vacation. <gasps> Time to go home, Mr. Pat. Back in an hour? <laughs> oh well, we'll write her a nice thank you note on behalf of Mr. Cat. Meow. <laughs> animals, they're everywhere. <laughs> well, at least the repairs are done. The old homestead is back to normal. <sighs> Yep, there's no place like home. It's out there. It's right behind the door. No, <gasps> don't open it. We have to. It's our only way out. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> to Coop Burtonberger. Who's it from? Hmm. Yes! Oh. Ah! What is it? <laughs> Lavender? Does he actually think I'd wear a lame scarf like this? What's Cat's game? Dear Coop, I knitted this just for you. Hope you like it. Fiona. Fiona? Like I was saying, what a cool scarf! Pretty scarf, Coop. Did you lose a bet? You smell pretty. You sure you want to wear that in public? Sure, I'm sure. Fiona made it for me. I mean, it would have been nice if she picked a different color and skipped the sparkles and the lavender perfume. Otherwise, it's perfect. Hi, Coop! Ah, baby! A hand-knitted scarf? <laughs> Whoever made it has no fashion sense. I'll donate it to charity for you. Hey, let go! Phoebe, it is time for your pony combing class. But, Papi, I'm helping Coop with his scarf. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. You must forget about him, Phoebe. He wears the wool of another woman. And as the owner of vast sheep holdings, I can tell the yarn is a special imported variety. Scarves. <gasps> Hello? Hey, Coop. Fiona, did you get the package I sent? Uh, yeah, sure did. Hope you like it. Uh, yeah, it was, is awesome. You must have put a lot of work into it. You can model it for me when I see you on Saturday. I'm coming to visit great, 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 great Auntie Munson. That's in two days. Uh, I mean, <laughs> that's great. I'll see you in, uh, breaking up, battery low, and... Uh, <sighs> just tell her Cat wrecked it. No way. Fiona will think I'm a total slacker for letting Cat get his claws on it. There's only one thing to do. I have to learn how to knit. Uh, Dad? I need to ask you something kind of embarrassing. Ooh, is it that time already? Okay, Coop, first you have the birds, and then the bees. Not that embarrassing. Can you show me how to knit? Knit? Oh, sure, sport. How hard can it be? Help! 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 <laughs> Ooh, thanks, Millie. You sure have a way with wool. Gotta find someone to show me how to knit a scarf by Saturday. Mrs. Munson's a good knitter. Hmm. What do you want? I need to learn how to knit. It's an emergency. Ah! Huh? <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna work. Hmm. Millie, wouldn't you like to learn how to knit a scarf? That sounds like fun. 
but it's gonna cost ya. <laughs> Remember, you're cleaning Mr. Cat's litter box for three months. <laughs> what do you want? Oh, hello, Millie. Hi, Mrs. Munson. Could you teach me how to knit? Why, I'd be happy to, dear. Yes! You're not ready for wool yet, young one. Once you are able to snatch these knitting needles from my hand, you will be ready. But until then, no wool for you! Pause off my yard! This room sure got drafty all of a sudden. Pupil. To become one with the wool, you must study the ancient ways. mysteriously disappeared from the Marino Del Oro Ranch. As the owner of vast sheep holdings, I offer a reward for the return of my flock and the capture of the bandits. Oh, man! Can't let our family get busted for sheep rustling. Hope Dennis is still up. Ugh. Remind me never to answer the phone after 9 p.m. Uh... Let me think. Sheep like to follow the leader, right? Right. I should have said wrong. Uh, uh. Move your woolly butts! And whoever has Fiona's yarn better not be eating it. The Deloro Ranch is too far away. Let's just leave them at Phoebe's house. <laughs> Dennis! <Whoa. laughs> We've been rustled! <laughs> I am most grateful, Mysterious Shepherd, for your reward to may choose the best of my flock. That one? But it's so scrawny! Hmm. Huh? Ah! Hey, my score! <laughs> Once the drool dries, it'll be as good as new. Think Fiona will notice? 
notice. Only if she uses her eyes. Millie, that house cozy is the best I've ever seen. I made it from the big ball of wool Mr. Cat brought me. <laughs> I'll never have to pay for heating again. Congratulations, you've earned your fifth degree wool belt. Well, I'm glad someone's happy, because Fiona sure won't be when she sees what I did to her scarf. Oh, no! <laughs> Fiona, hi! That's the scarf I made. Uh, Cat ruined it, uh, but duct tape didn't fix it, so I tried knitting, but Millie wasn't ready, and then the sheep came, and then the UFO crashed, and I'm, I'm so, so sorry. sorry! You're sorry? I must have mixed up the packages. I made that for Cousin Shirley. She must have gotten the black and green snowboarder hat I needed for you. I hope you didn't wear this out in public. Uh, you did. <laughs> That's so... Goofy? Flame-brained? Well, yeah, but in a totally sweet way. Fiona, get away from him before he drools on you! Just look what he's done to that poor scarf! Fiona! <laughs> What's she doing? I'm not sure. We need to get higher for a better look. Oh, that brim should be perfect. Dennis? If it's okay with you, I'd rather be ground support. I don't really like heights. You don't? How come you never told me that before? You never asked. <laughs> Sport? I'm serving cat breakfast in bed. Uh, my bed. Coop and Cat are playing dress up. I want to play too. What do you know? Cat and Koopa finally buried the hatchet and not in each other's heads. <sighs> oh, you have a lot to learn about playing dress up, Coop. Your outfit is all wrong. I'm not playing dress up. <gasps> okay, okay. I am playing dress up. That's better. I am 
Lady Millie. He's Lord Mr. Cat, and you're the butler. Yes, you're Lowness. <sighs> With Coop and Cat not fighting, I don't know if I can stand all the peace and quiet. But I'll try. We interrupt this broadcast of Dancing with Monkeys for a late-breaking news flash. Some wacky wayfarer has managed to scale the serpent's toenail in the Grand Canyon. Huh? Huh, that daredevil is a dead ringer for... Dennis! Uh, I mean... <laughs> that doesn't look anything like Dennis. Uh, eh. At least I know he's still on our planet. The Right Honorable Duke of Dork is waiting for Milady Millie in the drawing room. Yay! A royal visit! I'm coming, Duke of Dork! You're not as hopeless at playing dress up as I thought. You're going down, Cat! Go! How about I clean your litter box again? Sir. <laughs> hey, cool! I always wanted to go to Australia. Uh, I didn't get to hug a koala. Uh, did did you just call me a dork? Duke of Dork, Daddy. You're my royal visitor. Oh, well, the Duke part is okay, but... Uh... Newsflash, this report comes from Hawaii, where a young local has gotten lost hiking. Very lost. Huh? It can't be. Can it? The pretty pony hour. Eh. over Niagara Falls without a barrel. Honey, doesn't that look like Dennis? Silly daddy. Dennis wouldn't go over Niagara Falls without Coop. Round and round she goes. Where she stops, nobody knows. <laughs> Too bad Dennis isn't here. He'd have a plan. Plans. That's what he'd do. He'd try to find the blueprints for this thing. Whoa. So this is where he sent the fishy frisky bits. Huh? <laughs>
exactly a practical souvenir. But you gotta use it fast before it melts. <laughs> but it's got some real heft to it. <laughs> Welcome back, Dennis. You okay? Once I stopped hurling, I had an amazing time. And I'm not afraid of heights anymore. It's all good. Oh, and I got you this souvenir when I was in London. Thanks. Well, the peace and quiet was nice while it lasted. Hmm? Is that from... Uh, no, no, that's impossible. I gotta stop watching the news channel. <laughs> <laughs> said, what? <laughs> okay, I'll be there. This is the 49th time he's used the same bizarre excuse. Coop's a good kid, Miss Brannigan. He, he just has an overactive imagination. Oh, Mr. Burtenberger, in situations like this, it's often the parent that isn't providing a mature mm. example for their child, <gasps> and... Holy smokes! An old Playmaster 4200! In mint condition, too! Oh, Miss Brannigan, <laughs> I'm impressed. Oh, really? My students tell me cassette tapes are from the age of dinosaurs. You can't get this warbly sound on an MP3 player! Oops! <laughs> <laughs> so, am I grounded for life? Dad? Oh, hey, sport. Need a lift home? Huh? huh. I thought I'd get at least a week's attention. What were they talking about for so long? <laughs> Payback time. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Huh? I could have sworn I heard him in here. <laughs> What's up? I'm dog-sitting Growler while Auntie Munson goes to a garden gnome convention tonight. Get away from him before you catch delinquency! Hey, you want to come over for dinner? Okay. I'll be there as soon as the old troll leaves her den. Are you hiding? You better run. Oh. 
I look like one of Millie's dress-up dolls. Ugh. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, maybe you could try out the new hairstyle some other night, Sport. Uh, Miss Brannigan is coming to dinner, and... Miss Brannigan? Here? We got off topic this afternoon, so she's coming over to finish our parent-teacher talk. But I told Fiona she could come over for dinner. There won't be enough food for both of them. You better call Miss Brannigan and cancel. Nonsense! There's plenty to go around. Oh, I better go spruce up a bit. <laughs> we can play beauty parlor! <laughs> hey! <laughs> Cat! Where are you? <laughs> 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 is more upset about his teacher coming to dinner than I realized. <gasps> I'll clean up, Daddy. I don't want teacher to give you a detention. Get away, you freaking stop! Hi, hope you like liver and broccoli casserole. Is it raining out? Wow. Good evening, Miss Brannigan. Ooh, you're right, Daddy. She does smell like rose petals. <laughs> now, Millie, I asked you to keep that confidential. What's confidential mean? <laughs> <clears throat> that must be our other guest. Ah! No! You filthy rotten oven! Ah! Hey, Coop! <laughs> Fiona! Miss Flanagan! <laughs> Glad you could make it! <laughs> well, the gang's all here. Let's sit down to a nice, quiet dinner. Let me get your chair. What a gentleman. Ah! What's going on? It's Cat. He's... Ah! Uh, I think I'll need a bowl before you serve the soup. Yeah, I'll serve the soup, sport. You sit down and behave yourself. So what's this about Cat? He's... Ah! Ah! Hey, it wasn't me. It's... Perhaps you should cut down on your fiber intake? Ooh, Coop sounds like Daddy when he eats too much cheese. <laughs> too much information, Princess. <laughs> come back! Coop, go upstairs and clean yourself up. And don't come down until you're ready to behave. <laughs> uh, I'm so sorry about this. Oh, so am I. Mm, it tastes delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Dessert! Oh my gosh! Now you smell like rose petals covered in broccoli and liver. Growler? Where are you? Why can't I have just one normal day? <laughs> Did Growler come back inside? I haven't seen him. Would you like some lima bean surprise? <laughs> there he is. Oh, it's delicious. That's the surprise. <laughs> Here, boy. Want a treat? Huh? Fiona. Ah! Coop? Don't worry. You're not losing it. Cat's got an invisibility potion. Quick, tie something around Growler's neck. Give me your towel. No way! I can't run around with nothing on. You're invisible. Well, that doesn't make it any less embarrassing. <laughs> Here. Oh, oh, what is it, boy? Miss <laughs> 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 Brannigan, Daddy was wondering if you have a boyfriend. What? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> 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 Check it out. Careful, Fiona. That creep is around here somewhere, and who knows what he's planning to do. Heads up! Oh, thank 
legs. No problem. Come and get it, cat. <laughs> it's all right, Growler. I'm okay, boy. Look out! Oh. Whew, thanks. <laughs> no problem. <sighs> Just my size. Thanks, cat. <gasps> Coop, look out! <laughs> Attaboy, Growler! Yeah. I found his formula! Keep going, cat. You're on a roll. Hey, cat! Too hard. Oh, I. Wow, that work shed looks like a truck drove through it. I'll be going now. Uh, so soon? Fiona? Right here. Don't worry, the potion wears off eventually. Fiona! I'm home! In the meantime, what will I tell Auntie Munson? I have an idea. I can explain. You see? <sighs> Actually, I can't explain. But I can apologize. I'm sorry. No need. I'm a teacher. I've seen it all. I'm just not feeling well. You know, we never did get around to talking about Coop. Oh, that's right. Well, I suppose we could try again. Maybe at a restaurant next time? I'd like that. <laughs> Has that Burton Burger delinquent been bothering you? Auntie Munson, I can honestly say, I haven't seen him all night. Get your kicks with Board Demons 4! More jumps, more spills, more thrills, and more, more! Win Bootsville's Board Slam and get an avatar of yourself included in the game! Could this be you? <laughs> I'm getting my face in the hottest video game on the planet. Dream on, Coop. This is the handsome face that'll be busting the on-screen moves. Ha! Oh! A 1260 sizzle twist reversey. You can stay on the board when it does that. You'll rule. Give up, losers. My great, 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 great grandniece, Fiona, is gonna win that contest. All right, Fiona's coming. Wait till she sees my awesome new top secret move. Wow. I'll never wash these eyeballs again. I call it the Koopanator Half Sushi Poppin' Nose Grab. Think it's rad enough to get my face in Board Demons 4? Guaranteed. Unless Kyle Dunstan, that hot shot from Timberlake, shows up. Then you're toast. Buttered both sides. Dunstan, we better get rolling, or we'll be late for school. But first, I gotta go grab my board. I'm gonna go put some grease on this squeaky truck. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna happen, cat. Whoa! What happened? Are <laughs> you? And you're me. We switch brains. You gotta fix this. Reverse it or something. I don't want to be stuck in your creepy body, and I sure don't want you in mine. What are you doing? <laughs> no! <laughs> Go back here, you little. <gasps> Mr. Cat, it's time to play mummy and baby. Millie, let go! It's me. <laughs> Eating Mr. Cat's food. Coop! What in the name of a balanced breakfast are you? <laughs> no, that's Cat! I'm Coop! Oh my gosh! That's some mighty impressive ventriloquism! I didn't even see your lips move! Dad, you gotta believe me! Stop making fun of Mr. Cat! Millie, why aren't you ready for school? My teacher's sick. 
Can't they get a substitute? Not since the incident. Oh. Hello, Principal Dillagar. Guess that means I'm home for the day, too. Okay, sport, show's over. That's enough cat food. Coop? Coop? What's wrong? Why are you ignoring me? And why are you chasing my watch's reflection around the room? Sorry I took so long. It rolled all the way to school. I rushed back as fast as I could so we could... Oh, go to school. Let's go, <laughs> Mr. Cat. Mommy's gonna change your diaper. <laughs> Hey, Millie. Hi, Fiona. Ugh. Coochie coo, cat. Aren't you the real cutie? Ugh. You want to change his diaper? Mm -hmm. ah! I got a week of detention. I'm banned from the library, and the principal thinks I'm a troublemaker. All because of you. <laughs> <laughs> well, can I hear a my bad? Still no apology? <laughs> Fine, I don't care. We're through as friends. <laughs> Is everything okay with you and Dennis? Hello? <laughs> Ew! You're disgusting! <laughs> Daddy, Coop spit on Fiona. I saw the whole thing. It looks like Coop is entering the surly teen years with a vengeance. But I know just what to do. It's all here in What to Do When Your Son Enters the Surly Teen Years with a Vengeance. You can forget about entering that skateboard contest sport. <laughs> We've got some serious father-son bonding to do. It says here a leisurely nature hike with your surly teen will be an opportunity to open up lines of communication. We'll get to know each other on a deeper, more emotional level. <laughs> I guess a nature run will do the trick, too. Ouch! I hope this book has yes! the first aid chapter. Yes! <laughs> hey, Dennis. Ready for the big contest? Uh, it's pointless. Look who's here. Yummy. Hmm. Huh. Nothing in the book about what to do if your surly teen gets stuck up a tree. <laughs> We're exploring uncharted father-son bonding territory here. Okay, son. Dad's gotcha. Grab my hand and we'll... <laughs> I think my back just bonded to my kneecaps. I... I... <laughs> <laughs> you see that landing hall? You're a legend, bro! Huh, I never realized you're afraid of water. Here, I'll help you across. <laughs> uh, he really needs to trim those fingernails. Coop, I... Ah! Cat! Get away from me! Dennis, it's me and Cat's body! We switch brains! No way! This is one of your evil alien tricks! Whoa! That dude is displaying Major League Awesomenicity! Huh? Dunstan! why you're trying to get away from me. The book says you're trying to escape authority. Is that it? Uh, it says if I could just get you to talk, 
we could solve some of the issues you're dealing with. What do you think? You know, open up? Maybe stop ignoring me? We'd learn a little something about each other. How's that sound? Would you just talk to me for crying out loud? Okay, that's enough bonding for one day. <laughs> Johnston! Uh, I know Dad said I couldn't enter the contest, but technically, I'm not cool. Check it out! Millie's purple rat is riding a skateboard! <laughs> this is way better than a squirrel on water skis! <laughs> Whoa, that was amazing! That was the Koopanator half sushi pop and nose grab. There's no way Cat knows Coop's top secret move. Meaning? Meaning Cat really is Coop. What? That's impossible. Then again, it would explain Coop horking up a hairball. I'd never hork up a giant hairball at you, Fiona. <sighs> That's the sweetest thing anyone's ever said to me. And the creepiest. Does this mean I'm gonna have to clean up my best friend's litter box for the rest of my life? Not if I can help it. We have to make Cat fix the generator and switch brains again. Mr. Cat, we gotta go. Coop and Daddy had an accident. <gasps> Wee -wee. Now are you ready to switch back? <laughs> uh, what? What happened? It worked! I'm back! You sure are. You're talking to me again. The book was right. Our father-son bonding trip worked! Dennis, what are you doing here with Mr. Cat? Uh, excuse us while we uh, take care of some <clears throat> minor repairs. Boy, we must have got dinged in the head pretty bad, huh, Dad? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, technically, I may not have won that skateboard contest last month, but this is like a kajillion times better anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Sweetheart, I'm not snooping. I'm uh, inspecting this knot hole. Hmm, that poor fella's in for a world of hurt. Old Lady Munson hates door to door salesmen. What? Oh, Lloyd, you really know the way to a girl's heart. What are we looking at? Miss Munson has a boyfriend. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what do you know? The old treasure map. Wow, this sure does bring back a lot of fond memories. <laughs> yeah! I spent an entire summer scouring Bootsville for the long lost treasure of Long Guy Le Boot. Of course, there were some skeptics. Give up, treasure boy. That map's a fake. Why don't you ask Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny to help you, lameoid? Loser! This headset! Dreamer! Why won't you ask me to the school dance, you stupid? Uh, maybe fond isn't the best way to describe those memories. There ain't no treasure, Burton Weenie! <laughs> <laughs> we 
<laughs> Since you're not living on your own private island with a pot of pet dolphins, I'm guessing you never found the treasure of Longi Laboot? No, a certain obstacle got in my way and I gave up the search. I'll find it, Dad. I'll prove you're not a loser. I want to help. Thanks, Pumpkin. It warms my heart knowing my kids care so much about my reputation. Silly Daddy, I'm in it for the gold. <laughs> We have to follow these clues to the letter. <laughs> when I'm rich, I'll finance an expedition to bring back the Loch Ness Monster and a Sasquatch. <laughs> what do you do with your half of the treasure, Coop? Half? You need to review your math skills. One third, one third, one third. Don't you know your ratios? Forget it, Millie. You're too little to come along. And remember, we have to keep this a total secret. So don't go running around blabbing about treasure. I heard you talking about me. You call me your treasure. What? Shoot! No! I was talking about this treasure map. Treasure! Who's the blabber now? Uh, look, it's Long John Lamewood and his first dweeb. Can we get a pre-failure interview? The treasure is real. <gasps> and we're going to find it. Huh? <gasps> <Woo! laughs> old map to find the treasure. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> you help me, won't you, Mr. Cat? All we have to do is find a big X. <laughs> Yay! I'll get the shovel. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> your crumpets are so light and fluffy. Oh, Lloyd, you smooth talker, you. Oh, my! You do love your tea. I'll make another pot. show which way to go. I don't see any boots. Are you sure we're in the right place? Maybe you didn't get those eye holes lined up right. You can always go back up the hill and look for yourself. Hmm. I'd better take the map. You know, in case I need to look at it. Mm, think I'll hang on to it. Are you saying you don't trust me? Sounds like you don't trust me. <laughs> oh, my map! <laughs> Your beauty. It's so, um, breathtaking. Oh, Lloyd, you romantic rascal. Mm. 
is, excuse me, uh, I'm afraid I've had too much tea. <laughs> 997, 998, 999! No way! <laughs> <laughs> the treasure is buried under old lady Munson's house? <laughs> well, it's not gonna stop me! Us neither! Go, 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 go! Lloyd? You okay, honey bunny? Go, go, go! Go! Years to figure out where Long Gee La Boot buried his treasure. I even cozied up to her to get at it. <laughs> so excuse me if I don't feel like sharing. <laughs> There's no way out. There. Lord. Save yourself. Oh, I <laughs> it's mine. Mine. Oh, mine. <laughs> ah! Hooray! I found the treasure. <gasps> Back, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're not mad at me, Daddy. Of course not, honey. I'm proud of you for giving Mrs. Munson the treasure to rebuild her home. I still can't believe it was right under my nose all this time, and I never knew it. But we thought old lady Munson was the obstacle that made you give up the search. No, what I ran into was my teenage years. I kind of lost interest in chasing after treasure once I started chasing girls. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Whatever happened to old lady Munson's <sighs> boyfriend? We don't know, Dad. He just kind of dropped out of sight. Mine! <laughs> Oh, no! 